welcome to the pharma topos friends uh, today in form pre formulation studies i'm going to cover log p which is known as the partition coefficient uh, here in case of partition coefficient uh, what we are going to cover is the first of all what is the partition coefficient that uh, generally partition coefficient is the measure of lipophilicity uh, if we compound is lipophilic that doesn't mean is that it don't have the hydrophilic uh, hydrophilicity uh compound uh, may have some counterparts which is which are hydrophilic in nature but still the compound uh, the same compound may have the lipophilic part and this is the measure of lipophilicity or hydrophobicity not hydrophilicity so it can only give idea about lipophilicity or hydrophobicity now what is the log p and the log d what is the main difference between log p and log d here for a uh, very in simple some very simple term log p is always there for neutral compounds while log d is for ionizable compounds here i want to say that uh, in case of equations of log p and log d only ionization um, unionizable species are covered for log p that uh, for log if i go for the equation of log p here i will tell you that uh, solubility of unionized in oil and the unionized upon unionized in aqueous phase while in case of log d it includes unionized in oil unionized plus ionized in aqueous phase so it is the major difference that unionized plus ionized near only ionized part is considered so there is uh, generally the optimal values for log p and log d are assigned for any particular drug uh, generally log d is taken uh i don't ph of 7.4 so it is uh, written as uh, 7.4 and values of log p for neutral compound and log d for so on are assigned that uh, if compound is having the log p value or log d 7.4 value is less than 1 then uh, they are uh, more hydrophilic in nature and it may have absorption related problems while compound uh, having log p value of 1 to 3 they are considered as the optimum values and compound show the good absorption while values greater than 3 the compound may show the higher degradation and the biliary clearance so this is the significance of log p and log d and one can predict the fate of the compound by means of the log p and log d now the what is the relationship between log p and the solubility uh, there is one general equation that is the log solubility of the solid material log solubility of a solid material is uh, equal to 0.5 minus 0.01 melting point of compound minus 25 it is the room temperature minus log k or in water partition coefficient so here its significance comes that this is minus from this one and uh, here uh, sw is the molar solubility of compound mp is the melting point as i told you and uh, here oh, this is the octanol water partition coefficient now um, majorly also solubilization solubilization depends on the choice of solubilization technique and surfactant properties which is used there and leaching is option from the containers like uh, for example nitroglycerin option from the aqueous solution to the plastic infusion bags and uh, drug loading into lipid and polymer based systems so and uh, the final part uh, before that i would uh, i would like to tell you that uh, generally uh, octanol water uh, is used Uh, but in some cases what happens that uh, if uh, you are going for the permeability uh, of bbb we know that the bbb is more lipophilic so in such cases in instead of octanol we can go for the more lipophilic solvent so we can get idea for the passing of the drug molecule from bbb and the last part that uh, how we can go for the determination what how we can go for the determination of the this thing the most common and the most simple method laboratory method is the shake flask method 
in this manner the concentration in oil phase upon concentration in aqueous phase is uh, just divided and you can get the uh, you can get the partition coefficient and if you have used the different uh, amount of the solvent then you can include here the concentration uh, also include the volume of organic phase and volume of aqueous phase so here this is the simple method other methods uh, which are enlist i am going to just enlist here are the tlc hplc then uh, some in silico tools are there uh, like uh, c log p pro log p and this all then counter current counter current uh, distribution Uh, then uh, one can also go for the group uh, grouping method that uh, if the suppose n number of groups are there so each group has assigned the some value of the log p on the basis of their uh, lipophilicity and uh, finally the summing uh, summing that uh, all sum of that all n1 plus n2 will lead to your final log p value so this is all about the partition coefficient and this is mainly having the significance in case of the permeability of the compound and uh, thank you for watching and uh, please uh, subscribe farmer toppers for further updates uh, thank you